Hi everyone and welcome to the AEP presentation on moon jellyfish. Here are some fun facts about moon jellyfish that you have no clue about. Let's see. So as you know, moon jellyfish are considered as animals because they actually do eat. They're called carnivores, but um, their phylum is cyanard. Cy and um, they can be classified as je um, saucer jellies or common jellyfish or moon jellyfish, whichever one you prefer. And they're mostly translucent. Translucent is very important. Well, moon jellyfish are not actually fish. They're jellyfish which glide around in the water. Of course, those things you stay away from. You don't want to be next to those when they sting you. Um, they live in large groups. They're translucent, as we discussed before, and they can be identified by the four moons in the middle of them. The ones that are pink usually are the girls, and the ones that are white are clear, translucent, are usually the guys. And they are poisonous to marine life. Not to us, they only sting us, but when they touch another marine life, like a fish or a subtle plankton or anything like that, they actually can... Um, enter into their bodies and poison them. Unlike us, we have a skin protecting us so we don't get poisoned from it. Here's a look at some of them. They have very diverse colors, greens, blues, purples. Um, they have short tentacles, so it makes it easier for them to eat. They are located everywhere. They're not just in one particular area. But beach goers be on the lookout because they can be everywhere. It doesn't matter where it is. If you like to go to the beach, I'm pretty sure there's jellyfish there, especially this one. They are located in the Atlantic, Pacific, and the Indian Ocean, and they live near the coast. They love to be in warm water, but also they can live in cold waters too. Here's the life cycle of the moon jellyfish. They start off as larvae and they move over to the polyps, then they go to the strombella, which they are released from, and then they become the ephoria until they become an actual adult jellyfish. What they eat are zootoplankton, mollusks, crustaceans, crustacean, fish eggs. As you can see, the fish eggs are Really yucky, <laughs> but they're pretty good. Um, they also eat like little crabs and shrimps and stuff like that. If they get close enough, they'll eat them. Um, their tentacles will just grab out and reach for them, and then as soon as they touch them, they shock them or give them their poison and kind of just numbs them while they consume them. So, did you know that moon jellyfish are mostly made of water? They are 95 to 98% made of water. That's why if you leave them out in the sun or they wash up on the beach, they are instantly kind of like, they just kind of die. <laughs> they die and become translucent and become water again. Um, but beware, because like I said, on the beaches, they're very dangerous. Um, turtles love to eat them, but not for nutritional value because they, they actually have to consume lots of um, moon jellyfish or any kind of jellyfish in order for them to actually get some type of nutrients from it. They're not strong swimmers. Of course, they can't see where they're going because they don't have eyes or anything like that. Um, because of overfishing, ocean warming, and pollution, they are all factors in that reduce moon jellyfish predators or competitors and increase their prey, which moon jellyfish love because moon jellyfish thrive off of that. When humans tend to um, kill off their predators, they become less of a prey, and so that's why they stay near the coast. That way they can benefit from actually um, their predators not being in competition with them, so they kind of are winning here. Here are a few things they're related to, are closely related to. Um, you have the sponges, and you have the flatworm, which are the next to can um, they all fall underneath? Um, they all fall underneath, like living in the water, um, which makes them 
kind of related neatly. So here is a short clip of moon jellyfish. Um, jellyfish are actually able to be, um, they're actually able to repair themselves. Um, the food that they eat, you can see them actually fully have a stomach. They have a mouth as well. Um, they also are able to um, feed off feed off of uh, things that are around them, not just things that we are able to see, but they can't see that they can't see, but it's close by. So here's a few a short clip of what one looks like. They can be held in captivity, and they can live between six to nine months in the ocean, but they can live a lot longer if you keep them in captive because they don't have as many predators. Here we go. So that is my presentation on how moon jellyfish live and survive and reproduce. And just so you know, they are asexual and sexual. Don't forget that. Very important. And thanks for tuning in. Catch you later. Peace.